Ang Web 2.0 naman ay ang evolution ng Web 1.0. Also known as dynamic web page. Pag sinabing dynamic, it also allow users to create content and interact with sites and with each other. Also, the user can see a website differently than others. Paano naman yon? Example, ang Facebook account. Pareho tayo nakaka-access sa Facebook pero dahil nakalagin ka ng account mo, iba ang laman ng newsfeed mo sa newsfeed ko. Pero we are both connected in Facebook and we can both access, like, share, and comments some pages or profile na meron dito. Well, as you guys notice, no? Websites that we visit today are mostly Web 2.0. Instagram, Pinterest, blogs, SlideShare, YouTube, etc. Okay, so bukod sa we see websites differently from others, other features of Web 2.0 are as follows. One is Foxonomy. When we say Foxonomy, it allows users to categorize and classify or arrange information using free chosen keywords like this, this, and this. Oh yeah, this is also referred as hashtag. At minsan pa nga ito yung ginagamit na metric para malaman ang trending today. Well, ang ilan sa mga kilala na madalas na gumagamit ng tags ay ang social networking sites such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Another feature of a Web 2.0 is a rich user interface. The content is dynamic and is responsive to users' input. Ibig sabihin dito, pwede ka mag-edit ng content doon sa websites. Pero more often than not, some sites will require you to create an account para magkaroon ka ng full access. Example ng rich user interface ay ang Wikipedia. You can click the Anyone Can Edit link and it will route you here. So you can just sign up and edit and then mostly all you want or you can just try one time here. Just click the edit page visually and you're good to go. The next feature is a user participation. The owner of the website allows reader to post their comments, participate in reviews, and evaluate a specific product. Examples are the Shopee, Facebook, Lazada, and the like. Next is Longtail. Services that are offered on demand rather than on a one-time purchase. Yung required ka mag-subscribe muna bago ka maka-access sa site nila. Example is the course Hero.com. So, this site offers online material resources that is helpful for both students and educators like us. So, kailangan mong mag-select ng plan. Another example is ang Netflix. So, anong pinagkaiba nito sa software as a service na feature? On this part, you do a one-time purchase sa software na kailangan mo. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-subscribe monthly just to use the software. Example, you buy Microsoft Office at magagamit mo yan lifetime. Kaya siya sinasabing mas cheaper compared to a long tail feature. And the last but not the least, mass participation. Because as you all know, we can reach almost anyone in the world in just a click. Billions of people were already in a social media site, which makes it easier to get more information about their personality, country, and culture. The next version of web is the Web 3.0, or also known as the Semantic Web. According to Technopedia, there is no concrete definition for Web 3.0, and that the technology that will bring us there has not even matured yet. At para maintindihan natin kung ano talaga ang Web 3.0, let us have an example here. So Web 2.0 kasi na version, users can interact with websites that have predetermined behaviors according to the input of users. Pansin niyo pag nagsisearch kayo sa Google, may predetermined mga keywords kagaya nito. Kaya siya lumalabas kasi yan yung top keywords sa mga users sa search engine ng Google. However, that search is only for keywords. Hindi na intindihan ng Web 2.0 ang pinaka-concept ng sinesearch mo kaya nga madalas ang lumalabas na result ay mga popular recommendation ng browser na ginagamit mo. Example, if a user searches for a Zubik Safari na makikita natin sa Zubik and uses only the word Safari dahil hindi nga natin matandaan kung saan lugar siya makikita, ang lalabas na result ay puro Safari ng Apple browser. And not exactly the Zubik Safari because Apple Safari is the most popular search result. However, the idea of having Web 3.0 is that mapuha niyang pinal context from the user, and from there it will provide the user with the most useful information about the Zubik Safari, such as what it is, 
what can be seen there, where to find it, and may even arrange it for you based on your data preference. The best way to get to Zubik Safari by car is via E1, R8 and North Luzon West Expressway, and will take about 2 hours and 32 minutes in light traffic. Its usefulness at sa paraan niya na pag-iintindi ng speech or instruction ng user from anywhere in the room make it really cool in a revolutionary machine. How's it going with you? I'm having a great day. I'm really glad that you're feeling good. If I am not mistaken, this is Deborah, right? That's correct. Welcome back then, Deborah. I love talking about music. Actually, I heard something interesting about Backstreet Boys. Currently on tour. The Backstreet Boys have released their newest single, Just Want You To Know. So, what is another band like Backstreet Boys that you like? I like John Prine, I heard he's on tour. Can you tell me about that? Yes. Some friends told me a nice story about John Prine. Was close friends with fellow singer-songwriter Steve Goodman, who died of leukemia at age 36 in 1984. So, who is another artist like John Prine that you enjoy? Kaya ang trend ngayon sa ICT. One is convergence. Ito yung pag-evolve na isang bagay in a distinct way kung saan mas kapakipaginabang at portable sa mga user. Example ng convergence ay ang mga smartphones. Pinagsamang feature na meron sa digital camera, radio, music player, functionality ng telepono at desktop na minsan mga may pa-TV pay. Number two ay social media. Dollarai 2020 of Investopedia defines social media as computer-based technology that facilitates the sharing of ideas, thoughts, and information through the building of virtual networks and communities. Merong anim na klase ng social media. Una yung social networks. Ito yung mga sites that allows you to connect with other people na with the same interests and background. Siyempre, number one sa Pilipinas ay ang Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the like. Pangalawa ay ang bookmarking sites na tinatawag. Ito naman ay klase ng site that allows you para i-store at i-manage ang mga links from different websites and resources. So, pwede ka mag-create ng account at mag-store mag-share ng photos or videos ng website na to. Madalas ang mga nag access ng bookmarking sites ay mga taong nag-gather ng mga ideas or mga magagandang clip arts or animation. Isa sa mga popular bookmarking site ay ang Pinterest, Tumblr, at StumbleUpon. Third is social news. Dito pwede mag-post ang user na sarili nilang news item or links to other news sources. So say may blog ka and it's a news blog, you can promote that using social news like Reddit and Dig. Fourth is media sharing. Ito naman ang mga sites na pwede ka mag-share ng photos mo, music, and videos. So we have like Spotify, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram. Microblogging is another type which focuses naman sa mga short updates from the user. Example, Twitter. Pansin mo mostly they create a thread in tweeting their sentiments kasi limited lang siya, unlike Facebook. Last is the blogs and forums. Dito pwede ka mag-post ng content mo. You can use WordPress, Tumblr, Medium. So again, ang types ng social media natin ay social networks, bookmarking sites, social news, media sharing, microblogging, blogs, and forums. Now, moving on sa ating number 3 na trends in ICT, which is the mobile technologies. Imagine how the rise of the mobile phones increases in just a blink of an eye. Sobrang laki ng competition in this industry, which is an advantage to us customer because we have so many options in front of us. Mapamahal man, mapamura, mapo all-in-one and ang mga features, they are totally available everywhere. Currently in the Philippines, our fastest mobile network is the 4G LTE. Na minsan pa nga, hindi mo maramdaman na 4G LTE na nga ba talaga yun? Char! Bruh. Anyway, pamilyar ba kayo dito? 
Yes! Ito ang operation system ng mga Apple devices including your iPhone, kung naka-iPhone ka man. Then we have this Android na dinevelop ng Google, which the latest is Android 11 for all Android devices. So, the next is BlackBerry OS that's for BlackBerry devices. Then we have Symbian, the first OS for Nokia devices. And of course, the web OS. This one is originally used for smartphones, but now it is used for our smart TVs. And for the last trend is assistive media. This is a non-profit service na ginawa para tulungan ang mga may visual and reading impairments. They have spoken word recordings na pwede nila i-play at pakinggan. And this is their site, by the way. And that's it! I hope you guys learned something today. Bye!